A few months ago, former Boeing CEO Phil Condit made a bold and passionate statement. Boeing desperately needs to build a new airplane, and it needs to start right now. His message wasn't exactly revolutionary. Boeing has long had a noticeable gap in its commercial aircraft lineup, one that demands attention. But Condit's reasoning for the urgency of the situation brings a unique perspective that's rooted in years of experience. He argues that, if Boeing wants to maintain its edge in engineering and preserve its innovative spirit, the company must reinvest in genuine, groundbreaking product development. According to Condit, this isn't just a suggestion, it's a necessity for the survival of Boeing as an engineering powerhouse. Now, on the surface, Condit's call for action sounds reasonable, especially considering the current state of Boeing's engineering department. In recent years, it appears that the company's engineers have lost some of the drive that once made them the best in the business. However, rushing into a new plane project like the proposed 797 could carry serious risks. Building a new aircraft, particularly a model like the 797, would be an immense challenge, possibly one of the most difficult Boeing has ever faced. If they rush without careful consideration, they could find themselves in a hole so deep that it may be nearly impossible to climb out of. Let me explain why. To understand Condit's reasoning, we need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Boeing hasn't launched an all-new commercial jet in 16 years. The last time they did so was with the 787 Dreamliner, which took its first flight in 2009. Since then, Boeing has been focused on tweaking and updating its existing aircraft lineup, producing variations like the 737 MAX and the 737X based on older designs. While this strategy has been cost-effective, saving billions in research and development, it's come with a significant downside. The company has been taking fewer risks when it comes to pure innovation. And now, that risk is starting to catch up with them. There was once a time when Boeing was the place to be for ambitious engineers who dreamed of leaving a legacy in aerospace. However, with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin making ways with their revolutionary technologies, Boeing is finding it increasingly difficult to attract and retain top engineering talent. If Boeing hopes to regain its position as an innovation leader, it needs to launch a bold new project, a project that could spark the kind of enthusiasm and creativity that the company once had in spades. Designing a new aircraft like the 797 could be the catalyst for this. After all, for any aerospace engineer, Designing a new airplane from scratch is one of the most exciting and rewarding career milestones. This isn't just an academic exercise, either. Boeing's lineup currently has a glaring gap in the mid-market segment. Since the company discontinued the 757 in 2004, there hasn't been a true replacement to compete with the likes of Airbus's A321 XLR. By developing the 797, Boeing could fill this void, meeting the demands of the market while simultaneously keeping its engineers sharp and engaged in real innovation. But here's the rub. Designing a new aircraft is never as simple as it sounds. Take the 787 as an example. Despite its eventual success, the 787 program was plagued by delays, cost overruns, and technical issues. And the 797 would be no different. It could present even more formidable challenges, especially since Boeing plans to incorporate cutting-edge technologies, such as a novel, trust-based wing design. The trust-based wing is a radical new approach that promises a 10% improvement in fuel efficiency. It's sleek, long, and slender, but it's also unproven at this scale. Boeing intends to build two full-scale demonstrators to test the technology, and while they haven't fully committed to using the design yet, the company's billion-dollar budget allocation for this project suggests they're serious about trying. The ambition behind this is exactly what Condit has been advocating for, a bold leap forward in engineering innovation. But implementing this technology won't be easy. Let's talk about the major hurdles Boeing will face with the trust-based wing. First, there's the issue of range. The ultra-slim wing design reduces drag and makes the plane more fuel-efficient, but it also comes with an inherent downside smaller fuel tanks. While the longer wings will give the plane more surface area, there's a catch. They'll likely need to fold at airport gates to meet space constraints. The problem? That part of the wing may not be able to carry fuel. With airlines increasingly demanding longer range from their single-aisle jets, like the 737 and A320, 
Boeing's new wing design could struggle to meet those needs. Sure, they could add a fuel tank under the fuselage, but that reduces cargo capacity, an essential source of revenue for airlines. The second challenge is speed. In aviation, the speed of an aircraft is often linked to the sweep of its wings. A plane with highly swept wings, like the 747, can fly faster than others. However, the truss-based wing design must sacrifice some of that sweep to avoid aerodynamic instability. Early tests show that the new wing is most stable at Mach 7, 10 to 20% slower than other Boeing jets. This could limit the number of flights an aircraft could make in a given time period, resulting in a loss of potential revenue for airlines. Passengers might also notice a slower ride, which could impact the overall experience. Boeing is working to mitigate this by partnering with NASA to increase the top speed to Mach 8, but that comes with a trade-off. Efficiency would drop significantly, reducing the fuel savings. The third issue is scalability. The trust-based wing doesn't scale as easily as traditional designs. Boeing's two test demonstrators, VSS-1 and VSS-2, will each have bespoke wing designs, even though the planes will be relatively similar in size. Typically, Aircraft manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus prefer using the same wing design across an entire aircraft family because it simplifies production and reduces costs. But with this new wing design, Boeing will likely face significant inefficiencies, making it harder to produce the 797 as cost-effectively as other competitors, like the Airbus A321XLR, which uses a more traditional wing design. Now, before I go any further, Let's pause and play devil's advocate for a moment. Yes, these challenges are significant, but they aren't insurmountable. After all, Boeing has tackled ambitious projects before. The 787, with its cutting-edge composite materials and innovative systems, faced plenty of hurdles, including massive cost overruns and delays, but it ultimately resulted in an aircraft that's become an industry staple. So, could the 797 overcome these obstacles? Possibly. But the stakes are higher now. The difference is that composites, while challenging to work with, don't carry any major operational downsides. In contrast, the trust-based wing offers some substantial trade-offs, particularly in terms of range, speed, and scalability. These issues could create significant pressures on Boeing's engineers, and while innovation is crucial, it may be pushing the boundaries too far. At the end of the day, the commercial aviation market is changing rapidly, and Boeing needs to innovate to stay competitive. But is rushing into a complex new project like the 797 the right move, given Boeing's current struggles with engineering and development? The company's management seems to think not. Instead, they've pushed back the 797's timeline, focusing on the 737 MAX and 737X in the short term. This gives Boeing more time to refine the technology, but it also gives competitors a head start. Boeing is caught in a difficult position. It needs to innovate to stay competitive, but it also has to avoid biting off more than it can chew. The company's future rests on the decisions made in the coming years, and the 797 could be a make-or-break moment for the aviation giant. What do you think? Should Boeing push ahead with the 797 now, or should it play it safe and wait? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy the content and want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more insights. Until next time, keep looking up.